In this video series, I'm going to teach you how to make an artificial rock concrete urn planter. And as you can see, we've got something that looks pretty visually appealing here, pretty impressive. And I think that you're really going to enjoy this tutorial series. Let's make something. So at this point, I just have a basic foam structure here. No uh, nails, nothing sharp protruding from the bottom, that's important. At this point, it's more or less like a, a rectangle, a cube. I'm going to try to taper it somewhat. It's a little hard to do, uh, it, you know, cleanly, but I'm gonna just try to give it a little bit of a taper because that'll help us a lot uh, in terms of trying to demold this, if we want to demold this. And ideally, I would like to reuse this insert. Like if I could only build one planter from this, it's still a good idea because this is just, I mean, this is just waste styrofoam that's going into a landfill anyway here. So using it as an insert, even a single time to make a nice big planter pot, totally worth it to me. But even better, if I could reuse it over and over again, I'd really like that. So let's try to make it something that we can reuse over and over again, and we'll see if it works out or not. But for now, I need to trim these edges. You can use a hot wire, uh, like heat up a wire, literally it's a tool and you use it to just slice through foam like butter. I mean, go ahead, use it if you have one. I don't have one. I don't prefer to have one um, just because of the melting polystyrene. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. It makes a big old mess, but if you've been watching on my YouTube channel, you probably noticed I don't care about that at all.
Well, we've got something that's pretty much ready to go here. So just to kind of go over what I've done, I've tried to add spacing all around such that the steel isn't actually touching the foam. I think I kind of changed my mind as, as, as I was going here, and I don't think I'm going to be able to make this a reusable mold. Like, I'd love to make it a reusable mold. And if I were to try, I would take the steel off. I would probably cover the styrofoam with plastic or silicone or something to that effect to make it less, you know, sticky. <clears throat> and then I would put the steel armature back on with the hopes that I could remove the insert when I'm finished here and reuse it. And realistically, I just don't think it's going to happen. I've made enough of these things to know that when an armature is this tight around the foam, I'll never pull that foam out of there. That foam's going to come out in pieces, but you know what? I don't really care. That's This is just foam that was headed to the garbage. We're going to turn this into an awesome garden planter. It's going to be pretty strong because it's got a really strong steel armature in here already. I mean, I could add some more steel because that's a lot of vertical lift that I'm going to have, but I'm going to just try to make this fairly thick. Um, and I should have, you know, as long as I make it a fairly dry slump, I should be able to trowel it up here without it falling all over the place. Should be fine. I don't foresee a problem. Uh, again, the kind of key takeaway here, you want to get the steel armature all around. You want to have uh, spacing everywhere so that the steel isn't sitting against uh, the foam. When I cut the foam out, because I can just take a knife and cut the foam into pieces to get it out, and then we have our finished garden planter. So basically what I don't want is I don't want the steel to be touching such that once I remove this foam, then I've got, you know, a bunch of steel showing on the inside. It would be nice if it was just concrete. Uh, and then, of course, I'm going to have a bunch of these little spots here with the, the pink or purple uh, high density insulation. I'm not too worried about that because it is high density. Technically speaking, I could just leave it in place. I probably will leave it in place because it's on the inside. I don't think it's going to compromise the structural integrity. Basically, we're ready to go here. This is just a simple, like how tall are we here? This is over a foot. Anyway. Oh yeah, geez. Uh, 17 inches. It's going to be like 18 inches plus tall, maybe even 20. Uh, and we're probably going to have like over 12 by 12. So it's going to be a, an appreciably large planter. And again, this was just using some junk material and a couple dollars of wire, a couple dollars of concrete. So I like what we've got going here, but we're definitely not going to try to reuse this form. Let's just make a cool urn. This is a nice big one too, so I'll be happy with it. Um, I'm going to take the time to add a little more steel here. Do I need more steel? Probably not. I think this is a pretty good armature because I'm planning on going fairly thick with my product as well here because I want this to be strong. I want it to be something that can last. It can weather some, uh, you know, some difficult climate. Um, but because this is such a tall vertical climb and I don't have a whole lot of steel here, like I could have some more steel. And so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use a chicken wire product. Uh, this stuff's, you know, it's not the best in the world to work with, but it does help a lot if I want to give it a couple of wraps and just, just give the concrete a little bit more to cling to as I climb these vertical surfaces. I'll probably make my life a lot easier by taking a minute and adding a wrap of chicken wire. And this stuff goes a long way too, right? You buy a roll of it and when you use it like this, it goes a long way. Like, I cannot remember the last time I bought a roll. I always buy like the big roll because it's the most economical way. And even though I make a a lot of this stuff, it kind of lasts a long time. This stuff is a little bit of a bear to work with. Definitely watch your eyes. give it the one wrap just because this stuff is such a monster to work with.
I think basically we're ready to go here. I don't really want the steel touching, so I'm doing what I can to prevent that. I mean, it's a lot to keep track of, obviously, and I'm not really worried about it, because that's the inside of this piece, but still. If there's something I can do, and I can make that steel not touch, then that's what I'm going to do. And I mean, I think we've got it pretty good here. So, I'm going to clean up the area, and then we're going to mix up some mortar and get started. 